How's it going everyone? It's me Ryan and welcome back to more Red vs Blue Season 16 reactions. We are going to be jumping into episodes 9 through 12. Agent Carolina already found out that the Reds and Blues are time traveling and changing history as we know it. O'Malley has awakened from Doc and is going in different places and probably altering time. Griff and Huggins are searching for Sister and Tucker and there's just more stuff to come in this season. So for season 16, it's hard for me to talk about this season all because it's time travel and it's not dealing with any of Project Freelancer or anything that happened from the Chorus trilogy. Well, except for the people Chorus and Dylan and Jax from season 15. So I'm trying my hardest to express my thoughts and opinions about season 16 while also focusing on the story. And not to mention, I try to understand the antagonists of this season. But other than that, I literally have nothing else to talk about because we just got this batch and then 13 through 15 left until I can go on to season 17. So with all that's undone, I don't want to keep you guys bored too long. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into episodes 9 through 12. Here we go, guys. Red vs. Blue season 16 episodes 9 through 12. We got about four 10 to 13 minute episodes to get through. So without further ado, let's just see what this batch has to offer. In three, two, one, play. Agents Carolina and Washington. George. The director is expecting you. Dear director is in the middle of a very important meeting. Dear director, that's a good callback. You know how I feel about that word. Nothing is impossible. Okay, it's not impossible, but <laughs> the launching actors a camera on a rocket towards human actors is is extremely dangerous and probably won't even work. I'm not an idiot. I know it probably won't work, but that just means we have to do a lot of takes. It may take weeks. We can't. We can't. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, my chest. We can't. <laughs> 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 and I the first act. There's a defibrillator in the hallway, Cohan. Or do you need me to do that for you as well? Pardon me. Uh, you have guests, sir. If they're from the studio, you can tell them to wait in the fucking trash. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Carolina. Yep, Washington. Carolina Wash. How the hell are you guys? How's the neck, Wash? It's okay. Oh, I'm so psyched you guys are here. Let's okay, what is it that we need to talk to about? Dude, we need to shoot these. I think this guy needs to rest up. Pretty incredible, isn't it? I had them recreate this place down to the very last detail. It's uncanny. We spent a lot of time here. Hmm. You don't remember? How does that even... How is the shoot going? Oh, we've had fires, sabotage, actors dying in strange circumstances, <laughs> food shortages, paranormal <laughs> union strikes, lawsuits, in short, amazing. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? No. See, the best movies have the most tortured... Dude, I love Jax. this has been the most tortured production Definitely the movie kind of guy. Time. Ergo, this is going to be the best movie of all time. Makes sense oh this way you guys are gonna love this nice huh uh, certainly gives me the chills oh uh. storage or what well you don't remember this some pieces of last year are still a bit fuzzy well, what was it we were i remember tortured everything here. about this scene well, you know i'm starting to think this set visit was a mistake nonsense we were frozen stuck in here for a long time then Locus came? Hey, maybe this will be good for me. Locus. Old memory banks. Not that I mind the company, but what I'm not sure if he's still way? in this season. About the because we only place. got him it's in 15. We find them. Well, look no further. Sergeant Simmons joined some weeks back. They're here? We thought... I'm not even going to tell you what we thought. Which one? Sarge? Uh, nope. Sarge? Over there. Hmm. The art department wanted to use mannequins. Sarge? Sarge, you can talk now. Simon says you can talk now, Sarge. Oh, hey, hey, what's crack a lacking? How's Nick? Wash. Hey. <laughs> if you came here looking for a walk on. Okay, I guess he's part of the movie. Sarge, uh, I know this sounds silly, but for a while we were actually convinced you were lost in time. Lost? Huh? Never. I merely had to ask for directions once or twice. Oh, uh, what? Sarge, hmm. you have a time machine. Nah. Oh, thank God. I left you with Simmons. Back this way. That's literally the same of having a time machine. 
Sparky, what did we say about noise? We said no talking. This is more of a home scene. Well, none of that either. <laughs> on the road again. Oh, rules, rules, rules. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Is is Atlas the thing that attacked us? No, that was Kali Rama, his wife. She's scary. His wife? She didn't want to talk about God stuff. I don't. But they're not like god gods, right? They're god gods. Bullshit. They're immortal hmm. creatures of vast power and wisdom. What do you call that? Powerful alien something something. Something something god gods? Whatever. The really <laughs> old stories, the myths okay. of my race say that back when we were little more than patterns of flashing light in a celestial nebula, the cosmic powers came to us. They even looked like us, but bigger and more awesome. And they gave us language. <laughs> now chicka bow wow in the subtitles. War. They probably did that to you too. They made you. No one made me. I made me. I'm talking about the greater human you. You all, y'all, all y'all. What did we say about Southern accents? <laughs> that they're dang wicked awesome there, partner. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So then I killed both those guys, right? But then Hans was all like, I have your wife, Mr. McLean. And by the way, that was my old name, John McLean. Whoa! Anyway, he made me meet him upstairs. So I go up there, hands up behind my Okay. Head, like, oh, no, so they're I'm still on this friend. journey. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Then I reached behind my back where I had taped this pistol. I grabbed the gun and I was all like, Yippee Yippee yay, yay, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Die hard. Uh, yeah. Die I'm hard. interrupt your story, but my uncle has a cameo in that movie. He's on the headlight of the bad guy's truck. What? It just keeps happening. I get a few moments rest and then we go on another thing. And another thing. It never ends. And how does that make you feel? Like a pinball trapped in a, a never-ending cycle of shenanigans, adventures. It's like, it's like my hell. So, back when I was totally creeping yep. on you, I heard you talk to your BFF about preemptive laziness. What a disaster. Duh, you tried to... I mean, Huggins, you're talking to someone who is very lazy. Smart for that. Huggins, I don't believe in destiny. That's silly. You should meet her. She's got a wicked... I just figured out what Griff said. Doesn't believe in destiny. Do you believe in destiny? God dang it. Pira just got in my mind for a second. Sense of humor. Whoa, that's it. We reached the end of the world. That's just the English Channel. By the way, can you swim? <laughs> no. Plan B then. How well does your suit recycle air? All I'm saying is that <laughs> when I'm zipping around space going really, really fast, I have to go. That's really clever. Yuck. I could go around or try to think about something else. Also, that's really cool how they have suits underwater. Hey. I didn't think it was possible. Focus on getting through it as fast as Unless possible. Unless it's just a what griff you, thing. What are you saying? We're both stuck in gross gas right now. You got no idea, buddy. I'm trying to hold them in. Metaphorical gas. We need to find a shortcut out. You're talking about work. Don't think about it as work. Think about it as uh, proactive laziness. <laughs> yeah, probably won't work. No, not <sighs> about that. Another one crept out. Ugh. It's gross. I'm a I'm a fart submarine. <laughs> the smell is so intense. I think it's become sentient. Ugh, sentient smells are the worst. Well, I can never tell when you're joking. All right. Sorry, I know it's around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Found it. Here we go. Oh, wow. This is where it happens. What? You know what? Forget about it. All right. So this is our time machine. What, you want to hold it or something? What's the gag here? How's this joke end? No jokes! That's our magic gun! <laughs> so they're no, telling no, about no, no, no. the time machine. Yes. Uh, bullshit. Yeah, I know what happens next. We prove it to you. Bingo. Hey, Simmons. Whoa, cool. Uh, it's me. Hi, me. Hi. The past I'm Simmons. <laughs> from the future. Neat. What's up, future me? Have you come to warn me about the terrible mistakes I'm about to make? Nope. I'm just showing you. Where's the past Simmons at? Time travel is real. Oh, Wash, you're okay. Thank goodness. How's the neck? It's fine. Yo, Sarge, Wash is okay. He says his neck is fine. <laughs> Yo, Wash, I said what's crack and lacking. He'll get it. It's a thing between us. I'm sure they can hear you, Sarge. See? Time travel. 
This is me and Sarge a few weeks ago, or a few thousand years ago, depending on how you want to look at it. You see, we were recruiting some new Reds in Troy. Sarge is trying to recruit Achilles, but we're having some language issues. Now Sarge oh, they're in the old times. Pretending to be Zeus. I'm the king of the gods. <laughs> primitive screwhead. And this is my boost. <laughs> Oh God, you Sarge! Some hints on how we can recruit this Achilles guy? He's a real dick. It never happens. I get frustrated and stab him in the foot. Great idea, me. I can feel my brain melting. I stabbed him in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Looks like we gotta run. And now they're altering time. I don't know how to process this. Amazing! Time travel is real. Oh, this is heavy, so Doc. Questions. Wait. That's not his stage name. Yeah, and your new AD is actually George Washington. And that dead dude, uh, Alex? Alexander the Overrated? I mean, who dies of a common cold? <laughs> Alexander common the Overrated. Stimulus. Yeah, turns out his immune system couldn't handle modern germs. Whoops. Oh my god, I have so many questions. Jax, we were hoping you'd have answers. Dylan said you are an expert on the subject of time travel. Yeah, I hate to burst your bubble, but you really shouldn't go down that rabbit hole. Time travel is beyond comprehension. It's just beyond science. Nonsense. Just because science can't explain it doesn't mean science fiction can't. We just have to figure out what type of time travel we're dealing with. How many types are there? Two, really? Kinda. Three-ish. You can sort time travel movies by how they deal with paradoxes. Paradox? A paradox is a contradiction in reality. Say, for instance, you go back in time and kill your younger self. Or you yep. go back in time and... It'll create an alternate time timeline. In the first place. I watched paradox. the Back to the Future movies. Something happens that can't happen. Sarge, uh, Simmons, have you guys done anything that can't happen? I don't think so. Movies deal with the issue of paradoxes a few different ways. Yep. Most films deal with the problem by creating a closed loop. Like Leggett, like Primer, like Kyle Reese impregnating Sarah Connor. Maybe like Sarge <laughs> telling himself to stab Achilles in the foot. Everything that you do in the past yep. is part of the same timeline. This sort of travel makes the most logical sense, but there are really troubling free will issues. Hmm. Another type of time travel is the alternate reality theory. According to that, when you travel the multiverse, time, actually creating yep. another reality or universe, like in the J.J. Abrams Star Trek reboot. This method deals with hey. the problem by ignoring it. It also implies that a time machine can create all the matter and energy of a new universe. So yeah, no freaking way. Last and least is the flexible timeline. Marty McFly goes back in time and stops. Hey, Marty McFly! He undoes his own existence, the ultimate paradox. But he doesn't yep. just vanish. Instead, he's got this weird buffer period to fix it. Why or how this buffer period exists? Yeah, no explanation. It shouldn't. Also, I just realized he's misspelled flexible. One, the closed loop. The most logical kind of time travel, but also the most terrifying. What did you mean about free, free will? will? Well, in a closed loop, you don't really choose what you do. You have to do what you did. What you will do, you have to do. You can't do anything that you won't do. You know what I mean? Not even in the slightest. Well, yeah. basically, it means we're not in control over our own lives. Anything you're going to do with the time machine, you're going to do. You, you don't get to choose. We're getting into philosophy now. You're saying everything is preordained? Like, by a god? No way! No higher power hmm. controls my destiny! Okay. Oh, ow! We can find out! Right now! We can run a test! On free will! What sort of test? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of explanation I gotta understand. Charge. After this meeting, I want you to choose whether or not you want to use your time machine to hide inside this storage closet. Your choice. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Nope, don't don't say it out loud. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, don't tell me your choice. Yeah. Just do it after the meeting. So I'm doing it. Make up yeah, your mind okay. already. Think it to yourself and right. then do the I'm thing thinking afterwards. To myself. Okay, I'm Sarge, relax. Just think it. Am I doing it or not? Not out loud. <laughs> I'm gonna ace this test. Yeah, right. think about it. So right now, one of us is gonna open this door. Now, if time traveling Sarge is on the other side, he has to go back. If he isn't on the other side, then he can't go back. So it's like Schrodinger's cat. Kinda. So this test is going to prove or disprove the very existence of free will. <sighs> yep. So, who wants to open that door? Okay. No fucking way. No, thank you. Hell no! Oh, this is getting <laughs> suspenseful. Well, I'm not doing it. 
I'm not afraid. Oh, Simmons. Well, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Eh, fuck it. Here we go. Oh, oh hello. Oh. <laughs> Caboose and Lopez, they're the ones that in the closet. Wow. <laughs> Okay, that I did not see coming. Okay, so with uh, Jax explaining the paradox. Time and kill your younger self, or you go back in time and prevent yourself from- Yeah, like this whole time paradox life. thing. That also kind of happened in Mr. Peabody and Sherman, where um, it's been so long since I've last seen that movie. But I do remember that uh, two Shermans, uh, a past Sherman and a present Sherman, they can't interact with each other. Otherwise, and the same can go for Mr. Peabody, where those two- or four collided with each other. And all of a sudden, the entire structures from the Egyptian times, ancient Rome, and a bunch of other historical landmarks start coming into actual Earth. And they can't even go back in time if they're the ones to stop it in the first place. I told you never to come back to a time when you existed because there'd be two of you. <laughs> See, we can't have two Shermans in the same timeline. It puts too much strain on the space-time continuum. <laughs> Sherman, I've got to get you out of here before you touch yourself. Where'd the other two go? Uh, our cosmic doubles combined in order to reconcile a paradox in the space-time continuum. <laughs> And then with Back to the Future, it said that Marty traveled in 1955 to see his parents. His mother started to fall in love with Marty and not George. And that led to the non-existent of the other two siblings. And with part two, Marty and Doc go into 2015 to see their future. Marty got the sports almanac that eventually led to Biff traveling back to his 1955 self and changing history to create an alternate 1985. So I think it's really cool to see how we have a closed loop, a multiverse, and a flexible timeline. Yeah, talking about time travel stuff really gets you thinking. All right, here we go. Caboose's travels. Gentlemen, hold on to your butts. Ladies, hold on to whatever girls have instead of butts. <laughs> so this is Caboose's memoir of time travel. His lucky penny. Twenty-five forty-eight AD. Oh my God, the old school Halo models. Africa. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 2003, the old rooster teeth. Oh my god, look how old, look how young they were. Bernie, Gus, Matt, uh, Jeff, Joel, Jason. Oh. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Buddha, Texas, 2003. That was like when Red vs. Blue first premiered. <laughs> started a band. Wow. <laughs> Alexandria, 48. <laughs> Oh man. I'm gonna need some time to process this. 10, 15 years So Caboose is just at least we're still standing here, right? Caboose didn't erase anybody. Yeah, that we know of. Yeah. That is a good point though. Caboose's travels in time are in time for what? My late time travels, Caboose. Sure does. Really makes you think. Sir. He caused chaos. Pardon, dear director. We're all set up and waiting for you. Cancel the shoot. This is way too important. Understood. We shall shoot the maiming scene another day, I guess. Whoa, we're up to that? Fuck yeah, time travel can wait. Maiming season. Uh, okay, wait, real quick. There's still one 
more piece to this puzzle. The paradox question. Right. So far, all the time traveling can still be explained away by a really weird closed loop. No one's done anything that would prevent themselves from traveling in time in the first place. Okay. Way. If you do that, let me know what happens. If there's still a me, <coughs> and there's still a happens. Speaking of closed loops, my migraine has a migraine. I'll, um, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna grab some shots. Oh, wash. No, please. I, I bring news. The news? <laughs> Boring. Skip. Science. Uh, the French have landed. Wait, oh, so Tucker is king? <laughs> they bring anything I don't believe so, Your Grace. Yeah, we saw this from the invasion, from the history photo that Carolina <laughs> received. Don't let the military worry about armies, okay? But we are, sire. I shall stand here and watch as the noble land of Camelot. Mm -hmm. Camel toe. Camel toe is. Camel toe. By the French. I refuse. It is Excalibur. Blessed be the sword of Solomon. Wow. That's what I thought. Are we done? No, Your Grace. There is one other matter. Thou hast a visitor. He insults thee to any fellow that listens. What? What does he say? He saith Tucker is a butt. A dildo. Cannot maintain an erection. Ah, this stop. condition or anxiety. But you told him I am king, right? Verily, he can. <laughs> Jesus. Thou art the king of masturbating, <laughs> jack of all offs, wow. of baits, and a cockfight of the highest order. Just a lot of. Kill that guy. A lot of oh, names called out. Head. Yes, sire. Cockfight. Cockfight. Oh, god damn it. Cockfight, yep. What the fuck are you doing here? We happen to be hey. yeah, neat. What's with the uh, glowing thing? Huggins has a name. It's Huggins. Sorry I'm late. I got way laid. <gasps> hey, brother. When did you pop in? We happen to be in the neighborhood. What brings you to my kingdom, loser? Hmm. Need a knighthood? Perhaps a circumcision. Knock it off. Come on, <laughs> what'll it be? A baron? Baron Wasteland. Lord of the Swamp. I'm the king. Get with it. The fuck is wrong with Tucker? I'm pretty sure we all get it, Protect Tucker. You know. God damn it, respect me. I hold the magic sword, and thusly I decide what's what. My word is law. The sun and the moon are the same thing. My scrub to be dog. My <laughs> Star Trek is one long weird episode of Quantum Leap. You will be with me. You will be all your boner. Eat. Oh, fire. Oh. Can you Wow. Oh, friends. Donut. I finally found you. Hey. Look, Tucker. I didn't cross the face of the earth for shits and giggles. We're all in deep. O'Malley's back, guys. Turns out all our time traveling has been doing some serious damage to some serious shit. How do you know all this? Huggins told me we're working together now. Power boom. Pshoo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, mm. you can't trust that thing. She's working for the bad guys. I am not a bad guy. It's Donut who's playing for the other team. How dare you? I have two What questions. does Donut have to do Are with the villains? Do you like girls? I go both ways. I'm a particle and a wave. Physics joke. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I was thinking hmm. about some important king shit and lost the thread. Yeah, turns out Donut's finger quotes God is actually the So what does Donut want machine so that we'd ruin with history. everyone? We haven't ruined history. You declared war on France! They had it coming! Those fancy fucks eat snails! To save the future, we must fix the past! That's the mission God gave us. It is vague. Isn't it? Like, starve a cold, feed a fever, hmm. save a future, fix the past. It was meant to be hazy, so you don't go and do whatever! Not true! Listen to me! Why would we ever do that? Right, how silly of me! I think my friends... Donut actually had a plan! Time. Fine, die! See if I care! Oh, I feel bad. I think we heard... Yeah, Donut, he's my favorite! Like, why would they do this to him? Lord! <laughs> Milady. <laughs> the hey. French are at the gates. The They're formalities. To Ugh. We don't have time for an action scene. Let's just go. Leave now. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Friends, companions, douche knuckles. I may not have been the greatest <laughs> king, but I would never abandon my people in their time of need. Lancelot, mount my steed. I shall lead the charge myself. Right away, sir. Did you really mean that? Hell no, let's fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. You are. Follow me, please. You're late for your big moment. Hey. Okay. What do we got here? <gasps> oh, this is where Wash's neck gets shot. 
I'm already rigged up. I prefer to do my own stunts. Excuse me? Clear the set! Places, everyone! What's my motivation here, Jax? So you're this dashing action hero guy who pulls the whole team together. Right. You are awesome, charismatic, funny, brave, basically perfect. Uh-huh. And it all goes to shit when you're shot in the neck a bunch. Action! Cut! What is this, a freaking Disney movie? I said I <laughs> blood. Give me blood! <laughs> a Disney movie. What was that, a fucking paper cut? Come on! Action! Oh, wash. He's experiencing... Action! Hey, huh? You okay? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I'd be more fine if people gave me some space. Oh, wash his condition. Damn it. Just why I edited in the last episode, or the last batch. Disc. Language donut. <laughs> oh, Mally! What are you doing here? Same thing as you, my brother. And if I were you, I certainly wouldn't keep him waiting. Him? Donut. Come. God? Closer. Ah! Ah! Uh, actually, <laughs> I'm really cool right here. Like, I. <clears throat> Tweak my ankle, and I can hear everything really well, so... Have faith. I'm, uh... Walk. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't Wait, is it actually God himself? I would never let any harm come to you, child. You're my father? Oh, my. That makes me fabulous Jesus! All <laughs> are my children. Everything that exists. Everything. Everything. What? I got sick one time from a piece of old gum in eighth grade. I know what you're getting at. And hmm. yes, I am that gum's father. <laughs> okay. Donut, something troubles you. It's your friends. It's the gears. Yeah. They're such jerks. Indeed, they are jerks. I'm sorry to say they will betray you, Donut. Betray? No, they're my friends. Name what? One nice thing they've done. Uh, ah, I got sick once, and Griff made me a sandwich. Oh, but then he ate the sandwich in front of me. Donut, look at me. I would never eat your sandwich. Your friends have chosen okay. the wrong side, but I am merciful. You may still save them. Huh? Can they all be nice to me? Donut, I will spare your friends. Return to them now. But when you do, there's one thing, one thing, one thing you must do for me. One thing? All right, we're just going straight into episode 11. Okay, Huggins, Coolers, I come with news of the Shizno. Lord, I come with news of the Shizno. Lord, I come with... Dad, I... Fuck! I come with news of the Shizno! We are waiting. I've made progress, Lord Atlas. Ah, you've smashed them to dust. I don't have hands, my lord. Then why even no. bother standing before me? I can't she brought stand, news. Lord Atlas. You too? I can't stand him either. I have spoken to the Shizno, your mightiness, and... What? We, uh, we had a chat. A what? A chat? A chit chat? You spoke with the Shizno? Oh, this is going to be good. I had no... Choice, Lord Atlas. Hmm. We can't harm them, and they they don't know what they're doing. I I thought we could reason with them. You speak to the cosmic powers, flashlight. These mortals are insects to be stepped on, not debated. You look like a flashlight too, but whatever. Please, lords, ladies, it is hard to swallow. The truth often is to save ourselves. Ladies. It is hard to swallow. The truth often is, to save ourselves, we must invite the mortals to parlay and convince them to stop. If I am mistaken, Lord Atlas, I welcome your punishment. <sighs> I must think. You'd better not go off turning into a swan. 
Oh, you mean my one outlet? Why even be God of Gods? Yeah, it's really hard for me to to think about the villains because this is like the first okay. we ever seen them. So this is where you go. I do not speak to mortals. As goddess of death, nothing would please me more than to annihilate these Shizno. But as goddess of war, I feel our best strategy is diplomacy. Diplomacy? I could uproot a tree with one eyelid. Which is impressive and utterly irrelevant, dear. It feels dirty, but we must entertain these mortals. Also, Huggins has not gathered all of the mortals. We must convince these three to allow us an audience with the others. Oh my god! <laughs> that was the Ruby Moon! The Shattered Moon from Ruby! Fine. Invite the Shizno to parlay. I will awe them. Well, there's volume the six for you. <laughs> appeal to their basest desires. Yes. Speaking of, I'm a little jealous of that moon right now. Hmm? Yep. Oh. oh, really? Smite me? Huggins! Huggins, I've changed my mind. We will meet in 10, 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take longer than that. How was Italy? Back with Patrick Bow Wow. Oh, right. With this vegan, gluten free abomination. And then he stole your time gun? My what? Good news! They're excited to meet you and aren't conflicted about it whatsoever. What happened to the moon? Now, before we go, <laughs> now, before they show up, I want to warn y'all that the gods are super easy to offend. You guys need to have court etiquette. Yeah? <laughs> I'm a lady. You're there to hear them out. So let's just everybody be cool. We'll be on our best behavior. Okay, good. <laughs> We're ready. Okay, here we go. My lords and ladies, I present to you so, the- So, we finally meet. Again, this time king to king. Tucker, what are you saying? I'm not digging the size differential if I'm honest. Make me as big as you. Lord, I apologize. Very well. You may share my stature, Shizno, here on this neutral ground. Rad, I'm huge. Now me. <laughs> be a baby foot woman. No, there's no room. Uh. I'd like to formally complain. P5, fuck off, Griff. <laughs> I, I am Atlas. Dear, it's just for the meeting. I do not shrink. So when you turn into a swan, is that swan just ridiculously big? That's different and also private. Ah. Uh. Lame. <laughs> Let us discuss the matters at hand. What? Does voice get smaller? A generous compliment. Okay, there it is. The pantheon of the gods desires an audience with the rest. This of is the so system. weird. Uh, in exchange. Like, hold on. I, I feel like I should take these villains like very serious. But at the same time, I can't. This almighty oh, uh, Atlas, we we would like to be granted a wishes three. Me first. I want an eighty foot dog. Oh my god. He does not speak. No. Well. Three feet is enough for any woman. Huggins, explain this. A thousand pardons, my lord. I told them not I to. I mean, explain what he is saying. Does, does anyone know? They think us genies. They're asking to have wishes granted. Oh. Straight to it. Very well. Then let mm. us barter. What do you desire? Three wishes. Is that total? Yeah, total. Exactly three. I mean, every idiot. We could have had three each. Okay, I wish for an eighty foot dong three times. You realize no. what is offered, surely? Like every genie got to offer three wishes. wishes. The universe itself is yours to plunder. Oh fuck. Can I change my order? Yes. I want a 200 foot down! Okay, Enough I'm with sorry. the size, is Tucker. His, uh, his, yeah. Oh, man, his wee wee. Own heart. I wish for an energy sword just like Tucker's, but longer. Ah, simpler. Done. What? Oh. Hey! Like the sword, you bastard. I, I wish for my sword back. That's three, dickhead. Three wishes. Oh my three. god. Uh, hey, I didn't get a wish. Don't you get enough dong? It's <laughs> 
In return for this boon, you will gather the other Shizno. We will discuss matters further, including any other Dong-related upgrades. And Huggins, good work. Oh, thank you, Lord Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now Griff's got a sword. Stab you very much. Glad I finally got a flight. <sighs> this is some bullshit. You're telling me, Dick. Have a nice day. What'd I do? Dagger a nice day. Stab a nice day. I could do this forever. Tell you what. Take a few hours to think about it. <laughs> Okay, Griff, we get with the puns. You like my green saber? So, did you think? Oh, I sure did. You know, it's nice to just think for the hell of it. I'm feeling real mindful. That is not what I meant! So first I thought, hey, I'm hungry for cookies. I ate a cookie with some earbuds in, and it sounded like being inside a snow boot. It was cool. Tucker. Then I thought, hey, huh. it's real fucked up we haven't shared the tech behind unlimited salad bars with developing countries. Then I wondered if sloths have a mating yawn. Oh, whatever. Forget <laughs> it. After today, the gang will be whole again. No more Sis and Tuck's excellent adventure. No more us. Good. Uh. What was the point? <laughs> Beats me. You know, you must really hate me. Tucker, you idiot. I don't hate you. Are you sure? You've managed to sleep around constantly and still be like... Okay, sister, what? where are you getting still at? Be like Sleep. Along with Tucker? I don't follow. It's just like what? You've just kinda Tucker, spit it out. Just been kinda frigid. I don't know. What? Seriously? I take it back. You know, I was just gonna be quietly disappointed in you, Tucker. Oh, bro. You have a person. Name calling. You really showed your colors today, dude. You were the fucking king of England, but that wasn't enough. You wanted your best friends to kneel too. And they wouldn't. That counts for something. You crushed multiple lifelong fantasies of mine with multiple horses. You stopped me from having literal magic wishes. That wish thing was mostly crit. I'm not frigid at all. I just won't do you. And it hurts your big gross ego. Do you realize how narcissistic you are? I mean, do you even know? Please tell me. Let's take a look at your whole sex obsessed thing, shall we? You're all about oh. things, right? Bow chicka bow wow. Yeah. The big hole in your confidence, huh? And you throw women at it to plug it up. And they never touch the sides, do they? Hey, you think you're a sexual person? Dude, fuck off. I am a sexual person. I love to feel. I fucked in the eye of a tornado. One time I jilled it till I got a friction hmm. scar. I kissed a girl at Dude, so hard. crazy how we're getting more sister in I red versus blue. It. You love you. And like an idiot, I actually saw something in you. Something more than physical. I thought, I hoped, maybe you might realize that if you had a few hours to reflect. But big surprise, a reflection only made you love yourself more. Damn. That must have really cut you to the bone. All right, screw off, Griff. That was a really uh, heartbreaking moment. And for Tucker to just reflect on himself, I got to go back to this entire conversation because I was too distracted by Atlas creating the shattered moon from Ruby. Huggins has not gathered all of the mortals. We must convince... Yeah, Huggins has not gathered all the mortals because we still have Sarge, Simmons, Caboose, and Lopez, along with Caroline and Wash jumping into the fray. These three to allow us an And then knowing that Donut and you. Doc or O'Malley, they're transported somewhere. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the shattered moon. Hey guys, this is before Ruby Volume 6. <laughs> Hey guys, spot the difference. <laughs> Before this, there was that. <laughs> what happened to the moon? Yeah. <laughs> then Tucker just questioning the moon. Like, what happened to the moon? Why is it shattered? Like a bunch of pieces away from the actual spherical thing itself. Hmm. The movie shot. Damn. 
take off your suit. <gasps> uh. Oh, I want to be in you like an ass. Uh, uh. Jesus, dare I even ask? Jax wanted more sex appeal in the movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, yeah. Let me get in on this. And cut. Another amazing take. Did you get that? Yeah. Moving on, friends and fellow citizens. Yeah, I'm not going to question. Car wash love making vignette. Oops. A unit is shooting Grimmins next. B unit proceeds straight to the highway chase. Dang it. Hey, Kaikana. When did you get here? Just the camera <laughs> shake on this episode. Come on. <laughs> No way! Yeah, dude! No way! Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna need your help coming up with some more sword puns. Mine are getting a bit dull. I hope I can cut it. Hey, <laughs> uh, Minnie, you're on wides. Greg, you're on tight 50. You missed a fucking At least Simmons knows on. how to do puns. Oh, what's this now? It's just the documentary crew here to film my meteoric rise to superstardom. Movies within movies. We're getting meta. Right. So... Aw, you guys are doing a beach episode without me? What? <laughs> if you're here to try and stop us. Not at all. I'm a beach episode help. just like an anime? Everyone, there's something I need to get off my chest. Save it. No, guys. I'm super duper sorry. This whole sticky mess, it's on me. All over me. I've screwed each and every one of you deep. Oh, no, there it goes. <laughs> and now I've come to help pull out before we're all truly boned. <laughs> Now on, nothing comes before my friends. They come first, and they come second, they come third, they come we fourth. We get it. So, Grim, what's that plan of yours? Me and Tucker and sister have been talking to some folks, and these folks have been saying that all of our time traveling is bad. They want to meet about it and convince us to stop. Who are these people you're talking to? Not people. Aliens. Alien. Let's call them aliens. They're gods. What? We leave you alone or gods. for five minutes, and you piss off God? Gods. Uh, there's a shit ton of them. It doesn't matter what they are, okay? Or how many. They want to tell us what's actually going on, and I think we should hear them out. So, first hmm. we meet Griff, and Griff sets up a meeting with the gods. And then at that meeting, <laughs> we set up this meeting, which is all about setting up... I was say, it kind of reminds me of watching an episode what? of The Everybody Office. Office. Just from the camera Everybody shake, Great. and then the interviews. Everyone knows what's going on now. Can we go? Absolutely not. Kill the father, son, and Holy Ghost to shove it! Red team will not forfeit tactical superiority over the past! God can take my magic gun... Uh, <laughs> take two. God can take my magic gun when he pries it from my cold, dead fingers! I had a feeling Sarge was gonna be a stick in the mud. Time for a new tactic. Lie. Also, I'm gonna go back with the name tags. Time machine, Sarge, okay? Of course you can keep it. They just wanna chat. These beings you're talking about. You really trust them. I trust one of them. Huggins saved my life, and she vouches for the rest. Fun fact, Huggins is a sentient lens flare. This is finally making sense. A lens Anyways, flare? Hey, we she gets it. kind of shield against their magic. Why? Because we're unwilling agents of some all-powerful time god. Last time I was an agent, at least I got dental. God can't kill you. That's full coverage. What if they found a way around this shield? Honestly, this is the best I've felt in ages. Hanging out with the guys again, in way over our heads. It's what I was meaning. Yep, they're back together. What if this is some sort of trap. Get us all together in one place. I don't think it's a trap. But how do you know? I got a sixth sense for when someone's lying to get in my pants. And they ain't setting it off. So there has to be more explanation for getting the reds and blues yeah, together. It does damage to the timelines or whatever. Bad for the timelines. Because they said they just want to talk. What? are you saying i'm just trying to figure out if time travel is some sort of monkey's paw that's always gonna blow up in our faces huggins said so but can we prove that's true i say we test the idea don't you have better things to do don't we have better things to do if we're going to meet these gods the more intelligence we have the better i propose that i create a unified timeline of all your time travels we look at that big picture and we will learn the truth jax is so smart he's talented he's funny Cohen Wooter. Just like Cohen Wooten. Again. This time, like you mean it. Jax oh. is so smart. So all we need are interviews with everybody. It'll take no time. We'll squeeze it in right before we shoot the giant mech sequence. Screen time, you say? Help me in. I'll go get my resume. 
So, of course, Sarge decided he's gonna use the time machine to fix it, but that didn't work. And next thing I know, I got JFK brains on my visor. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Thank you for having me. Yes. Hey, the your best friend. Challenges for me to overcome are definitely babies, gravity, taxes, and Chinese finger traps. Then I tried to get Caesar to win that pizza. You know, since he's a foodie with that salad and all. Didn't go great though. Knives were exchanged. On the one hand, Krobo saved my life. And he's treated me with more respect than the Reds Privates ever have. But bossy another, bottom. The Reds and Blues are. Well, hmm. They are. Huh. I actually think the other hand is empty. Yes. Hey, there's a Chinese finger trap. Yes, but I definitely would not be stuck in any sort of Eastern appendage experiment. All right, here's what I got, everyone. The final verdict. Time travel has backfired every time that it was used to fix a personal mistake, to repair pride, embarrassment, the loss of something valuable. Mm -hmm. However... That doesn't mean that time travel is some monkey's paw, some thing that will always backfire. Case in point, I've been using Sarge's time machine for weeks Excuse with me. no negative consequences. Uh, what? Time travel isn't good or bad. Now, in terms of our unified All right, let's see the board. Ah, perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? You've drawn a dick. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a science. <laughs> I mean, is it accurate size? I, for one, vote we go meet with the gods and talk this through. If Griff thinks it's a good idea, I'm in. Ugh, can't believe I just said that without sarcasm. <laughs> Man, they know how to do red versus blue yeah. jokes. I still have questions. Mainly, what does any of this have to do with finding church? <gasps> what? <gasps> His distress call. The help me Obi Wan Kenobi message. That's the whole reason we're here. What do gods have to do with church? That was a different thing. church. Kidding. I even right said back? it. Like, Just what if they use the time machine to go is? back and save right. church? Now, as for me, I've been using the time machine to recap. Oh my God, the bro! The red versus blue. I was waiting for someone to say that. Well, pal, I hope you brought your wallet because rent in hell gets paid in it made. I tell you, I got no respect it's at all. bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Grim. The last time, <laughs> I'm not Grim. Man. Tell me why so. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. What is it? What's the line? Feed it to me. Brilliant. And unlike everyone else, it hasn't backfired one iota. Hey, Jax, I just got off the phone with the studio. They took a look at the new casting and they killed the funding. We're done. I'm free. Ah, whatever. If they've cut the funding, we'll just raise the money ourselves. I happen to know some people with a time machine. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you literally did. It has been many eons since mortals were allowed audience here on Star Seeds, the seat of the cosmic power. I, King Atlas Arcadium hey, Rex. Hey, guys. Yeah. Can I borrow your time machine? Oh, nice water fixtures. Oh! Uh, Contact everyone! Cover. Calm down! Temper, honey. I think they knew. Okay. Me. That mortal idiot interrupted me. I'm sorry I smited your mortal idiot friend. Eh, no harm, no foul. Uh, that was my primary weapon. Don't, don't look at it. This is God. Yes, okay. Atlas is the king of the cosmic powers. I the king. am Rama, his queen. You're married? Whoa, wait a second. Did yep. you call her your sister earlier? Yes. So which is it? Sister or wife? Yes. Gross! This is so uh, <laughs> I'm Jenkins with a G. I love <laughs> Game of Thrones. I haven't seen the show, but I know about it. <laughs> I am Burnstorm, master builder of the gods. <laughs> what? I'm King Tucker, breaker of headboards. I'm Simmons, wizard of science. And mm -hmm. I am Simmons. I, I'm not Simmons. <laughs> I am George, lord of the twin flag. And I'm, uh, come back to me. I'm Kakaina, and I like to party. Aw, <laughs> uh, Dexter the Griff, he who must not be messed with. Yes! Bye. <laughs> I'm Carolina and this is Walker. Hey, my name is Lopez. Now, to matters at hand. Spoil sport. I had a good one percolating. How about you start at the beginning? The beginning? 
<laughs> very well. The very beginning. The very beginning. Oh my God, you're gonna end it right there. Mm. Just wait until the final batch. I see how it is. I like how Wash was the only one to know about church. Like, what does it have to do with everything? Like, with saving church? Sister or wife? Yes. And sister oh, or wife? This is some Game of Thrones shit. Yeah. Sweet home Alabama! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that batch was certainly something. We got God, question mark. That was just a bunch of gears. Doc went back, apologized to the Reds and Blues. We had the team talking about their entire time travel into a graph that showed a giant. I'm not even going to say it because YouTube won't allow it. And now we have the beginning, the very, very beginning. And that's leading us to the last batch. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my reactions to episodes 9 through 12. We got one more batch to go through until we conclude season 16 and going into the final chapter of the Shizno trilogy. <sighs> Fingers crossed, everything goes smoothly. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's me, Ryan, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.